What's going on YouTube? Welcome to a special Conquest video we have for you today. That is right, this is the USA Conquest and we are gonna finish this USA Conquest in this video. From start to finish, you will see every move I do on this board in this video. You just won't see the gameplay. So let's go ahead, hop into the USA Conquest map and let's conquer it. 30 teams, 60,000 stubs, 70 plus packs. As in every conquest map, you wanna make sure you guys check your goals. Why are we checking our goals? To make sure there's no goals that we have to have done at a certain time, like capture the LA Dodgers by the third turn. Goals like that is what we're looking for. Unfortunately, in the conquest, this conquest map, there are no goals like that. There are no still fan goals, so it's me pretty straightforward and how we want to conquer this we want to play on the lowest difficulty be possible every single time my strategy for the usa conquest map at least this time there's multiple strategies you could choose is i want to block as many teams for pushing out of their strongholds as possible we only start with 12 fans so we're going to go down to kc and kind of just lock the middle we're literally going to block the middle what do i mean by that well literally i'm going to go straight down to kc to the rangers and this might be a weird strategy but i want as many empty spaces as possible so if i can stop them from going to the west side of the, the map i can get all of those empty territories as i reinforce of course they're probably going to capture some of those that are like one fan two fans whatever but this is a strategy i'm going to take in this video will it work every time no but it's going to work we're it's still going to work it's just might not, not work as good as we want it to but that's how conquest goes sometimes especially on a big map like this so now we got most of the fans down there what we're going to do here is we want to make sure they can't block or go anywhere so we're going to go ahead and put one fan there and i'll show you now we want to protect our stronghold so we're going to put some in our stronghold go all the way back down and skip to attack we're going to attack right here so they can't get there. And then we're gonna go all the way back up to our stronghold and then protect our stronghold. So we're gonna surround our stronghold real quick so they can't get to it, they can't attack. I'm gonna put more fans in our stronghold and do the same thing. Cause we definitely don't want them attacking our stronghold cause that means we have to play a game, an extra game that we do not wanna play. So always protect your stronghold if it's in danger. Skip to reinforce once again, reinforce here and we're gonna go straight down. As you guys see, KC took one of the territories that we captured earlier, so we're just gonna block it so they can't take any get any closer to where we want to go. And as we get more fans in these territories, the easier it's gonna become because we're gonna get more reinforcements at the same time. So we're just gonna fill all the empty spots that we can, and then we'll worry about where do we wanna attack first, we got a hidden pack, a five pack bundle right there. So remember that if you guys are watching this video, tally mark, check mark right here, this territory right here has a five pack bundle in it. Go over here, skip to reinforce, and I'm gonna reinforce up here now. And we're going to attack right here. And we're gonna keep on going down, getting all these empty spaces. And it looks like it almost works out. We got another hidden pack right there, a little standard pack, we'll take that. Now we'll reinforce, when we reinforce now, we're gonna put one fan here and one fan here. And we're gonna try to get those empty slots. Now it's just a matter of where do we wanna attack first? Do we wanna attack the Rockies first? Do we wanna take out KC first? This does not really matter. Um, so am I, I'm gonna take out KC first because why they're like one of the closest. We got a goal completed. So one of our goals has been complete. And now we're gonna go ahead and attack KC. So now the reason we fill as many empty slots as possible is so we can get more reinforcements when we have to reinforce. So now when we attack KC, it's on all-star difficulty. What do we do? We don't wanna play an all-star, no problem. We just skip to steal fans, skip to reinforce, reinforce our territory, skip to attack, play Kansas City. We're on veteran difficulty. I'll see you guys. Oh, one other thing. If you guys are playing Conquest, if you've never seen any of my videos, pick your number five starter. When you pick your number five starter, you face their number five starter, which is their worst pitcher. So make sure you guys are picking your number five starter, especially if you struggle in Conquest. Make it easier for yourself. Pick your number five starter, face their number five starter. All right, so we beat the Kansas City Royals for our first game of Conquest. Got a thousand XP, but that's okay. We also got a Kansas City Royals jersey, so you can get some jerseys through this. And now we're just gonna use the rest of our fans that we have to go probably down to Texas, you know, get the bottom half of the map done, go down to Texas, conquer them, not worry about pretty much anything else. We can also protect our stronghold if we want. We probably should do that to be honest, and then go start going back towards Texas. So we should have went up first and then down, but that's okay. Maybe we go north towards the Twins. 
Oh, we're just going to run out of fans anyway. So if we run out of fans. Do we really go towards Texas? I'm not sure. We'll find out when we get there. Our goal or right next to the Cubs too. So we could take off the Cubs. So many choices. We have two fans left. We're going to attack anyways because it doesn't matter if we win, lose, who cares? But we, at least we got our stronghold protected by a few fans. Now the Cubs are close to our stronghold. So that's kind of wa why I kind of want to attack them next. We also have someone... The twins are next to our stronghold too. And we have no fans in our stronghold. So what we do here is we take and we protect our stronghold, put all of our fans in our stronghold and attack. So we got to attack around our stronghold once again, get the Rockies off of it. So any any territory that's around our stronghold, we must attack. We have to attack. They, they, they got to go. We don't want them attacking us. We don't want to play extra games. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to attack any stronghold that is near us. And they, they just attacked us again. So we attack them again we lost that's okay because guess what's going to happen we are going to reinforce so let's go ahead reinforce our stronghold yet again and this will happen a lot in conquest it's perfectly fine perfectly normal and the us that's why the usa conquest is a little frustrating because there's a lot of like back and forth with the cpu when it comes to this board they just want to go back and forth with us so we are going to go back and forth with them as well and now there's another fan another team close to our conquest and we are losing seven to one simulation that is not good all right so now we're going to reinforce once again on our stronghold because they're right next to it so that being said oops don't want to move fans I skip to attack and once you start getting a, a lot of fans this gets a lot easier but at the very beginning it's very tedious got to get through the beginning steps get as many territories as possible and get these guys away from our fans so like this territory has two fans i'm gonna attack that one over a territory that has one fan because they can't expand the territories that have more than two fans or three fans could possibly expand and get closer to you. The, the ones that only have one fan in them, they're not going to attack you. So don't worry about it. But we're going to attack all the territories that have more like three or more fans versus anything that has less than that as we get close to the twins. And like I said, we said we want to go down to Texas. That didn't work out for us too well because guess what? They're getting closer to all of our strongholds. So we have to make sure that we are protecting our strongholds at the same time, which is exactly what we're doing. But hey. Now we might start going down as we expand out past these guys. We're going to start making our way down to Texas right now as they start getting closer to our stronghold yet again. But now Texas is trying to attack our stronghold. Well, that's not going to work out too, too well for them. We're going to get closer and closer to their stronghold. What I really wish is I really wish that once you capture their stronghold, they don't attack you like their other territories don't attack you, but they still do. They like try to they try, like, try to win it back. It never works out too well for them. They attacked us. That's okay we're just gonna attack everything around them at this point that way we already have it they attacked us again we'll attack them again we win that one and we get this one as well we can and now we can reinforce so there's no territory super close to our strongholds this turn so that means we can reinforce right next to texas skip to attack attack texas it is on veteran difficulty so we'll play that game and we'll see you guys after the game all right we beat the texas rangers two down 28 to go in this conquest map got our jersey and let's go ahead and continue protecting our stronghold as we preach and preach and preach don't want them getting close to it so let's go ahead keep protecting it and surrounding it as we make our way down to the houston astros do we attack the houston astros right now probably not right now so since we're not going to attack them right now we'll just attack everything around them so far and then work our way back up as well and try to get those fans like that are kind of getting close to us, but which we will not do. We got a ball as a habit pack down there, right in the center of the Houston Astros. So we'll take that. Three fans gets us a win. Will three fan or will, will three fans do it again? Two, two. Yes, we do get the win. So we got pretty close there. Pretty close, I would have to say. And we are going back to reinforcing, and we are going to reinforce. I guess right here we can actually reinforce. They're not near our strongholds quite yet. They could be though. So do we go after the twins because they're super close to our strongholds? But they're kind of close right here too. So don't know where I want to attack this one. Um. I'm going to take my guess and I'm going to guess right here. We're going to skip to attack. Let's see if they attack. Three fans might attack, to be honest with you. The three fans might attack. Two will not attack one. If, only got, if they only have one more fan than you, they will not attack. Always keep that in mind. Checking that out. We're going to go up and then we can get Houston on the next turn. Like I said, no hurry in this. We're just getting more fans point or more territories at this point, which is which is good too. 
you want to play this smart so you don't have to play if you have to do this longer that's fine you don't want to play extra games that you don't have to play and we're getting our way almost making our way to the chicago cubs here we got a legend icon so we'll take that and we lose that one which is perfectly fine but much more of a gap now between a lot of our strongholds except this one so we're gonna go ahead reinforce this one real quick and go towards the twins because this is the one that is the closest to our strongholds so we're gonna get some room in between all of these guys right here and make sure that they can't get too close there's only one fan in that one so i'm not gonna worry about that we're gonna attack the one down here and now see if they're gonna take they did not take any fans from us it's on all-star difficulty which means we want to skip the steel fans just fine it's going to take a little bit longer to simulate because of that but we don't want to play that we don't want to play that on all-star just don't so we're going to skip to reinforce um this one's kind of close but i think we're okay right here we're going to go ahead reinforce up here 38 fans in there we got a show pack goal completed skip to attack attack the twins it's on veteran difficulty i'll see you guys after and i also don't like redraft until i have like the best draft I just play with whatever I get because I like to save stubs. I don't like to like redraft and have to buy in again. I like to save stubs. So I just play with whatever team I got. All right. So we beat the Minnesota Twins. That gives us 37 fans up there. We also got the Twins jersey. You guys may have not seen that because I was still talking through my stream because I didn't realize that we were done with the game because, yeah, my stream does that to me sometimes. But here we are. We beat the Minnesota Twins. Now what are we doing? We are defending our stronghold, surrounding our stronghold with as many players or as many uh, spots as we possibly can. So that way we don't have to worry about it. And now we're gonna go over, I don't know where we're gonna go. We could attack the Brewers right now because they are kind of close to that stronghold already because they're just close to that territory or we could just keep on going down getting as many empty territories as we possibly can and going down to like the cubs a little bit here getting everything next to the cubs because there is a territory down there that is actually right next to our stronghold with two fans so we're gonna have to reinforce down there because they're probably gonna have three fans next and at that point if they have three fans they might attack us and then we'll have to play a game on legend and yeah, I don't want to do that because if we lose the game on Legend, we lose that territory and then we have to get it again. So definitely don't want to do that. But actually, we're going to just attack them and get them away from that stronghold it's like we did right there. So the beauty of having a bunch of fans is this is you get to sim a lot of stuff at once, which is exactly what we want. Typically, I like to take over the west side of the map first, which will probably work that way eventually because there's a lot more territories on the east side of the map closer together. So honestly, if I were to attack the east first, we would actually get done probably a little quicker because we're going to get in and out of games a lot faster because all the teams are super close together versus having to sim a bunch of game or a bunch of territories at once. We'll have to we'll get to play a lot of games every turn. That's not always a bad thing. So I don't know. It depends. Like there's so many ways you could do this. So I'm still still trying to debate on which way I want to take it in this video. So we're going to find out right now what we want to do here so we can reinforce almost anywhere as you guys can see anywhere is possible right now we literally own the middle of the map so we can attack the cardinals we can attack the cubs we can attack the brewers it's literally our choice so what do we do at this point i think we're going to attack the cardinals so we're just going to skip to reinforce cardinals have 13 13 12 so everyone pretty much has the same amount of fans so we're just going to go after the cardinals here skip to attack hit the cardinals play on veteran difficulty i'll see you guys after the game all right so we beat the st louis cardinals that's we're four down we're getting there four down right there Another Cardinals jersey. We'll take that. And then we're going to head on up. Well, not exactly. We are going to surround that stronghold that we just took over. Surround it with a few fans. So there's like nothing around it. And then we're going to be moving on on up. Moving on up to the Chicago Cubs is our next stop right here, I believe. As they, well, they're, they're trying to get closer to it, but they can try all they want. We will keep protecting as we move on up to the Chicago Cubs. Will the Chicago Cubs be the next victim in this conquest map aka kind of like playing risk but uh we'll see on all-star difficulty so what do we do well we skip to steal fans nothing's really around us we do have these guys down here so we probably do have to reinforce and hold off on the chicago cubs for now because we got to protect our base here so we're going to move these fans down here and we are going to attack 
and get more fans on top of more territories. And maybe we just go for the Houston Astros since we're right here anyways. We should have enough fans to get to them and play them on veteran difficulty. And then we can completely take over all the territories that the Houston Astros own. And I think that's exactly what we're going to do. So we protected our stronghold. We're going to get over to the Houston Astros. We're going to beat the Houston Astros on veteran difficulty. And of course, we will see you right after the game. All right. So we have conquered the Houston Astros. And now we're just going to go ahead and finish filling up these empty slots down here. See, maybe there's some more hidden packs down here. I don't think there is, but you might as well check find out any more hidden packs while we get the rest of these territories around us and we should be good to go next to conquer probably the cubs brewers is who we're going to go after next and then probably after that we go on to the west coast in fact there's people on the west coast right now close to us and that's going to be the rockies so maybe uh the rockies is who we conquer next because they are filling out the west coast right now they got a majority of the west coast under the belt so with that being said protect our stronghold that uh they're trying to come get and get some of those territories that they have already taken over and that's what we're going to do right now we have 50 fans over there right now so we should be able to get a majority of these guys if we go two spaces out that's what i'm going to try to do i'm going to try to get two spaces around our stronghold at least so it's kind of spread out and they can't get to it very easily so as we get one right there, we'll also get the one that's closer and then another one that's further out. We get this one as well. And you see now we're pushing Colorado. They're getting scared now as we're pushing closer to them. They're feeling the pressure coming in on them because they wanted to come in on us. So now we're going to get closer and closer to them. But first of all, we're just going to take out over a lot of these purple territories because I don't like seeing that this much purple on the map that does not belong to us. Colorado seems like they, they're trying to take up take up more of the map than us, and that's just not going to happen. We ain't going to have uh, have that in our house. It's our house, our conquest, and we're going to take over these as well. Diamondback territories that we already took over, take over some more, and then we'll reinforce again. I feel like we're in a good spot right now. We have a lot of territories. We have a lot of good reinforcements and we're able to take up a lot of different territories right now with the amount of fans that we're getting. So that's really good. Two against one. Don't know if I'll win that, but I guess we will. So now they are not close to us. So now we have a choice. We can attack the Cubs. We can attack the Brewers. We can do a lot right here. And I think we're going to attack the Chicago Cubs here. They're nowhere near us when it comes to any of our other strongholds. So it's a good time to attack the Cubs. So I'm going to pick the Cubs for this game right here. And then eventually we'll probably get to that West Coast and get those Rockies. But right now we got the Cubs. Wrigley Field, here we come. I'll see you guys after the game. All right, so we beat the Chicago White Sox. You may or not have seen last game because I forgot that I restarted the recording, so I wasn't recording when we beat uh, the guys down here. I forgot what team that was yet, but we beat them. It was Chicago Cubs. When we beat the Chicago Cubs, I was not recording. So uh, yeah, you may or may not see that. I might get it from my VOD, my stream VOD, but we'll have to wait and see. So you may or may not see that one, just so you guys know in the YouTube. Um, but hopefully you guys hopefully i'll just get it from the vod but if i forget to get it from the vod um that's why you did not see that otherwise same old same old we just conquer territories stuff like as we continue to conquer more territories surrounding our strongholds is always a, a key point in most of these like sims is that we want to 
surround our stronghold so they can't get so that's kind of what we're doing right here we're surrounding ourselves and making sure that they can't get too close and we're also surrounding their stronghold so that's always a good thing too we're surrounding their strongholds and then we're also looking around the map are they getting close to our strongholds and we see the rockies trying to move down down south getting closer to our strongholds down there they haven't quite got there yet though and then we also have these guys so these guys are more important so of course we're going to reinforce right here because they are literally touching our stronghold at the moment but we also got a hidden pack so we'll take that well not hidden pack but we found a pack and we'll go ahead and take them over once again get them out of our out of our area as fast as possible as we reinforce and now we can kind of pick and choose who do we want to attack no one's gonna really gonna get that close to us the rockies are making a move over there in the west right now they are conquering the west easily so far but we could take out the reds right here if we want to or we can move down and just capture some territories around them well as some more territories around our stronghold which might be the better thing to do so we might go up here more territories that are close to our stronghold so we kind of protect it at the same time because you got you got cleveland right there you got the reds right there we have detroit right here so you know they get any fans in there they can start coming towards us and we just don't want them to do that so we're gonna go ahead in fact this is this is an interesting spot here. So I'm gonna go right instead of going up. I'm gonna go right and get some more territories. Might just surround the, the tigers. We're just gonna go right, sim through these games. In, fa in fact, we only have 12 left now. So now we're gonna go up, go back up the Brewers because there's only a few territories right here that we don't have. And with 12 fans, probably good enough to get most of them, if not all of them. Can we get that one? Yes, we can. Can we get the last one way up there with four fans? We can. So now we only have three fans. We got a hidden pack. So now what we can do, we can either attack the West now. I feel good about ta attacking Colorado right now, which I think that might be the move. Just get them out of, out of the game real quick. But see what we can do here, and always remember this, is we can reinforce there and then move our three fans that we left up there over here so now we have 47 fans here and now we can attack the colorado rockies and get them out of here of course they can still get territories but obviously if we have their stronghold they cannot reinforce that too much anymore so we're going to go ahead we're going to attack the colorado rockies and see if we can hit some 500 foot nukes in kuros field and i'll see you guys after the game all right so we have conquered the colorado rockies and we moving on to better bigger thing another good amount of xp right there we'll take the rockies jersey and we'll move on of course protecting our stronghold is ultimately the most important so that's what we're going to do here we're going to start up here come back around there's only two fans near our stronghold so no worries of them attacking right away so we're gonna go ahead and get our two territories around the stronghold making sure they can't get too close so two sort two territories outside of the stronghold or away from the stronghold then come back inside and then go back out keep on doing that so you see like there's there's one territory right there there's one more on the outside that we need to get we want to get that one as well because that is two away from our actual stronghold and then we also want to come back inside and get the ones closer so that's what we're going to do here the one's super close right here and then once we do that, of course, they want to take one closer again. And I'm just not going to uh, allow it as we're going to take it back. And now we only have 16 fans left. So we got to really push towards getting these last few. And then we'll just probably reinforce and take over some more too. Not that big of a deal and oh we run out of fan probably run out of fans here but we're gonna try to get this last one oh not not can't quite get it but as you guys can see we got the stronghold right here and as you guys can see that's not as close so that's always a good thing as far as our other ones our other ones are looking okay so far so when we go to reinforce we should be okay to reinforce something like right here here and just attacking more of these territories around us and yep it definitely looks like we're able to do that with ease don't have to worry about any other territories besides the rockies because they're trying to come towards us again and that's exactly what they're going to do but guess what we're going to stop them. stop them in their tracks not going to come any closer they have two fans right there they're not going to attack us with two fans so we don't have to worry about that we'll do that We'll worry about that in the next turn. I'll show you guys exactly what we can do about that. We're going to go ahead and attack this and just keep on getting more territories. As we come on down, we're going to attack these as well. All these like territories that have three, four, five fans. We definitely want these out of the way. 
These are the ones that are going to expand the most. Like I said, the ones with two, they're not going even going to attack. It's the ones with three, four, five. Those are the ones that are going to attack the most. So those are the ones that we're going to focus on the most. Like this one has three right here. We'll focus on that one. Go down, focus on these. I have three. Come back across, focus on that one. That one has three. We're going to take out that strong or the, that territory. And then we'll come down and get some of these ones with our last remaining fans right here. We get a hidden pack, so remember that right above the Arizona Diamondbacks. There is a hidden pack, at least that stronghold with the Arizona Diamondback. And then we'll go ahead and get some of these out of the way. And there's just less strongholds that we have to worry about. No one really on the east side of the map that we have to worry about yet. And we are getting close to owning pretty much a lot of the west coast as well. So we have a majority, almost like a diamond pool. If we almost have a diamond shape of the, of the entire map. So now what we want to do, there's two fans right here. They could reinforce with three, but we'll just put like eight fans in there. And then we're safe, right? We put eight fans in the stronghold. We feel pretty safe about that. And then we could attack somebody else if we want to so we can go down here or we can keep on just taking over this west coast side of the map which is not a bad idea which i think that's what we're going to do so we're going to put the rest of our fans right there we get a five pack bundle for acquiring 200,000 fans total. We have that going on. So we're gonna attack down here and we're gonna work our way towards the Arizona Diamondbacks. And that might be the next team that we attack. We said we wanted to start attacking the West Coast, take over this West Coast, cause there's not a lot of teams over here. So we beat these teams on the West Coast three. We can do that pretty easily and have the entire West Coast. Cause there's just not, there's just not that many teams over here. And then the East Coast is very close together. So we'll be able to tackle a lot of the East Coast on the same churns, making it just a little bit faster. So that'll be good too. I imagine that they're going to attack us with these six fans somewhere. Maybe not because maybe their turn's over. So that's good. So we'll attack them instead. Get these four fans out of the way. Attack all these. Get those out of the way. Four fans we do not want to see. Two fans or less is what we want to see. And we're getting closer to the Arizona Diamondbacks. And they are going to be the next team that we are going to attack. But obviously it will not be this turn. We will reinforce. So we'll go ahead and get almost every territory around the Arizona Diamondbacks. So we are ready to go to protect our stronghold once we get it. We just tackle everything around it first. We'll be good to go from when we actually get it. So that's what we did. We're gonna try to even get this one right here. And we do, let's go. We also can still attack because we have this one right here. So we're gonna go ahead and attack it, try to take it over. We got five fans. Now we really don't have to worry too much about that. Now we can go ahead, skip the reinforce, reinforce right here with all of our fans. And then we really probably won't have to worry too much about any other territory around us. We'll move these fans right here. Let's go ahead, attack the Diamondbacks. It's gonna be on rookie difficulty this time around and i will see you guys after the game two and a half hours we hit the daily cap that's crazy all right we beat the arizona diamondbacks and we reached our max daily xp cap after what seven stronghold games so you're not gonna see very much xp anymore uh post game besides the mission stuff but we got ooh some nice arizona unis to be honest as a dodger fan you know those are unis are still pretty nice i have to can't lie about that those are pretty nice unis still we're gonna go ahead and start going i mean towards san diego i guess we can go towards san diego right here especially with 59 fans but i don't think we're gonna attack san diego just yet i think we're gonna get as many of the empty empty fans over here trying to get more of the map obviously because literally we own most of this map the west coast has got a lot of it and then the east coast obviously there's another half of the east coast that we need to get but at the same time if we get the west coast we pretty much own like seven six third 66 percent of the map if you cut it into thirds if you cut it in like fourths, we probably own almost 75 percent maybe maybe a little over yeah maybe about 75 percent if we own the entire west coast so once we finish the west coast i would say we own probably around 75 percent the entire usa map but yet there's still as far as games are there's a lot more games left on the east coast so definitely aren't 75 percent done with conquest but we'll have 75 percent of the map not that many west coast teams over here but we're going to keep on attacking these we get a hidden pack right there nothing crazy crazy and keep on going up because there are some colorado rocky fans way up there so we might as well go all the way up and try to get some of those fans up and to the right we probably won't get all of them as we get a nike city connect we get to choose four items so this is how you guys get your nike city connect jerseys i imagine and equipment and whatever it may be uh we get 
we get to pick four out of that so that's always good whether we keep it or quick sell it i guess it's up to us but go ahead and get that we lost that one so but as you guys can see there ain't no teams near these strongholds they're kind of a team close to this stronghold but other than that we can kind of re reinforce up here but now we have re like 66 reinforcements at least every time which is very nice because we can get a lot of this simulation done which is what takes the longest when we're in these menus that i honestly think this is longer than the game except when i score 11 runs like i did against colorado probably a little extra i could have like started bunning a lot sooner put up 11 against them that was probably not them but hey it is what it is got some pxp got another hidden pack so we'll take that and as we cruise through this like i said this is going to be one of the longest videos that i post on youtube all year but if you guys enjoy it, please hit the like button and subscribe because obviously it's good. It's going to take me seven hours to put this video together just for recording it. It's going to take me around seven hours to record this entire video. So definitely show some love on this video it is here to help you is here for you to play conquest, play this map as I am playing it. Pause it when you are in the game and just follow along if you struggle. Something to play in the background or whatever while you're playing the game. It definitely helps me out. So even if you don't need some of the tips, once you got the tips down, you could just play in the background. Let the video play. Help me out a little bit. Be sure to like it. Be sure to subscribe. Be sure to leave it. Definitely helps me out as we simulate through some of these games and just kind of like talk and mumble. Let me know what your guys' favorite cards are in the game. Let me, let me know what you're grinding for next. Have you finished all of the conquest maps? Have you finished Team Infinity? Have you finished, you know, the BR program? What are you, what are you grinding? Did you get the 25 win reward in, a, in the events? A lot of stuff to grind day one. We have new programs next week, including an extension to the rank program as well as some other programs coming. So definitely be in the definitely be live. We're off next well or well or yeah, we're off next week. So spring break. So we'll definitely be live for when the content drops versus being late. Another hidden reward. And you guys are getting to see all the hidden rewards. I'm not really gonna point them, point them out, but you guys are seeing them pop up. Helps you guys as well to figure out where those are at. So you guys know where to get them. And we win that one too. So like I said, we another hidden pack five packs in the top left hand corner right above seattle love to see it we're gonna go ahead and reinforce near seattle here now we have even more fans because we got more territories now we're gonna have a total of 77 fans we completed a goal we got 300 million total fans that's going to be another goal for us and we get another 10 pack bundle from that let's go ahead we are going to attack 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 seattle right here and we get to play them on rookie difficulty so like most of our games are probably gonna be on rookie now because of how many fans we have like just getting past that early stages but anyways i'm gonna play them i'll see you guys after the game all right we beat the seattle mariners there fairly easy finally hit some home runs with mickey mantle we got the seattle mariners jersey and now we're ready to conquer the rest of the territories around us wow they took five from us right there that's okay now there's only what a couple more teams well not a couple more teams but a couple more strongholds around us two giant strongholds a dodger stronghold a padres stronghold definitely got some strongholds around us but that's okay that's what we're here for tackle these strongholds at least as easily as we possibly can and we're gonna go ahead and go this way and then go back up because we're gonna get this purple the last colorado rocky stronghold remember when the colorado rockies owned this entire uh west coast <laughs> not no more we now have officially taken out the colorado rockies they are done completely done for took them all out now we're gonna work our way down could attack right now but i'm not going to i'm just gonna keep on going down and we're gonna get some of these other strongholds near this san francisco one and then we're gonna go down towards the dodgers so we're gonna surround the giants in a couple spots and then we're gonna go down and we're just trying to get as many, many territories as we possibly can because we know if we get more territories more reinforcements we are going to get anyways so it really doesn't make a difference so we're getting as many empty territories as probably possibly can so we don't have to worry about reinforcing we know when we reinforce the game's probably going to be on rookie anyway so it does not matter if we lose all of our fans right now because we're also 
getting territories at the same time. So we could attack these guys. There's no one near our strongholds, or we could focus more on the east coast again, because look at this. Look at this. They're getting close to this stronghold. And in fact, they're right next to us. So that's where we are. Our focus go is going to turn to the east coast, and we're going to have a good 85 fans over there. So now we can start moving them away from our strongholds once again here on the east coast, getting them as far away as possible, telling them to leave us alone. We don't need you. We don't need you over here. We don't want you. We don't need you. Get away from our stronghold. This is our territory. And what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go all the way down here because there's a bunch of empty spots or not empty spots, but there's a bunch of space down here that we can take over. So we're just going to go ahead and take it over. Get all this red, turn it blue and take it over. They can't touch it. Can't touch this no more. Once it's done with all this red, it looks like it's the Braves. We either take over the Brave stronghold or we take over the red stronghold. Don't know which one we're actually going to go after, but we're going to go ahead and take over pretty much the bottom half of this portion of this map we get a classic stadium so you definitely get you get some classic stadium packs here in this uh conquest map which is that's that's a w we'll take we'll take some classic stadiums probably sell them early on to be honest i don't normally collect the classic stadiums until later on or if i want to do like a polo grounds like video or challenge but i mean that stadium just playing at that stadium is like i don't know it gets to me it gets to, it gets in my head i don't like it but we're gonna Go ahead, keep on tackling all these empty spaces. And I feel like the next time we reinforce, we're going to have like 95 plus fans to reinforce with. So definitely ain't going to have to worry about playing on a uh, higher like difficulties very much longer at all, if any, because we're just going to have so many territories. They ain't going to be able to stop us. We're going to be maxed out everywhere as we're pretty much surrounding the Reds right now. And there's nothing they can do about it. We're going to surround Cleveland too, because it's Chicago or Cleveland. I feel like it's Cleveland, but we're going to just surround everybody around us because there's nothing they can do about it. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go start going up towards the Blue Jays because there's a lot of empty slots up there as well that we can uh, take over. So we might as well go up there. And then it's just a bunch of little slots near down here that we can get as well. Like near Detroit, there's a, a few slots, but we want, we want the majority. There's also three fans right here. Definitely want to take those slots over. And then we're just, they just ain't going to be able, be able to expand anymore. We got another five pack bundle right there remember that spot next to the blue jays right here there's a five pack bundle so enjoy that we're gonna open up the packs at the end of the video so hey maybe we pull another high 90 plus overall diamond maybe we don't but i'm saving that i'm not even trying to buy cards right now because i know i had to do this conquest map and i feel like if i buy a card then i'm gonna pull it so i might as well see if i can pull the card before i buy any cards and look we made it all the way up to the blue jays now we're going back down again we literally almost cover 90 percent of this map i feel like ballin is a habit pack ballin is a goal pack where are the balling out of control packs? They need to put those back in the game. If you guys remember those from a few years ago, those cards, those packs almost had pretty good odds at, at least getting a diamond in them for a while. Like they were juiced. And we take that over too. So literally this is our map right here. This is what we control. That's pretty insane. Obviously there's the Brewers, the Tigers in between here. Cleveland, I mean the Reds, the Braves, as far as the Strongholds. But as far as the actual territories, we literally are dominating this map right now. And it feels to do. It feels good. The closest team to us right now is either the Brewers and or the Tigers. We could take them over, but or we could go back, focus on the West Coast, get the West Coast done. And then we could focus and we're going to have max fans. It looks like for this next reinforced territory. So that's kind of nice. We're going to have literally 99 fans to reinforce the literally the max love to see it. We're going to attack. We're going to play the Colorado or the San Diego Padres. We're going to play them on veteran difficulty at Petco Park. And I'll see you guys after the game. All right. So we have beaten the San Diego Padres. Well, at least the first, I think, two Padres strongholds. We get no rewards. That's OK. But we do get the San Diego Padres. They are complete right there. What is also well, there's two more San Diego Padres strongholds. So we're probably going to be tackling them next. Going to be doing that. And then... After that, we'll be pretty much done. So let's go ahead, start game number two with the San Diego Padres. We are on rookie difficulty. 
and I'll see you guys after the game. All right, so we've beaten the San Diego Padres once again, and we got to beat them another time right here during this turn, it looks like. But we are going to get the Angels right there. So that was the Angels stronghold, technically. So we're going to go ahead and get there at. And now we're going to go on, and I think this might be Ari could be Arizona that we're facing, or Arizona stronghold that we're facing next. I forgot. Um, Let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Simulate, simulate, simulate. Got a little Sims done. And we get to face the San Diego Padres once again. Take over this stronghold. See what kind of reward that we get. I'll see you guys after the game. All right. We beat the San Diego Padres once again right there. We understand that Michael King cannot pitch. We love facing them. We got the Dodgers stronghold or stronghold jerseys. And now we are going to go ahead and start heading up the Giant. We have been using Giant unis uh, lately as well. They're pretty nice unis. I like using them. I'm a Dodgers fan, but hey, you know, I, I appreciate some good unis so that's why we, we've been using them let's go ahead and simulate this maybe there's any i don't know if there's any hidden rewards around here but if there is we will find them as we make our way towards the giants and we only have two more right here as we get 2,000 stubs and 1500 xp for conquering 300 territories definitely take that universal banner let's go ahead and we're about to attack the giants so we got two more strongholds both the giants and we'll be done with the entire west coast as far as the other thing other side no one's really close to us over there so we are still chilling for now and let's go ahead and beat the san francisco giants it's gonna be on veteran difficulty if you guys wanted to play this on rookie difficulty you could sim until you reinforce reinforce again and then you can play this on rookie difficulty i'm fine with playing it on veteran all right we beat the san francisco giants we got to beat them one more time we get 1500 xp so we must have made some progress right there we got a ball in as a habit pack as well we also got troy percival because because we captured the al west so al west is complete we got the oakland a jerseys and now we're gonna go get the san francisco giants and that should probably finish the nl west once we're done with that so let's go ahead and we are going to attack them play them on veteran difficulty like i said if you guys want to play them on rookie go ahead skip to reinforce reinforce some more fans and you can play them on rookie but i'm very comfortable with playing these guys on veteran so i'm gonna do that and i'll see you guys after this all right we beat the san francisco giants once again we have completed the west coast so let's move it on we got aj pollock for doing that we completed the nl west we also got the san francisco giants home jerseys i almost thought that was the yankees after seeing that ny right there so new york giants i guess is what they would call them back then back back in the day but let's go ahead there's our last one we're on the steel fans phase and it's crazy we have this little little guy right here and I'm, I'm it's bugging me so i'm gonna put some fans right here don't don't judge me i'm gonna put some fans right there so we can uh, get them on out of here and do we want to just tackle a stronghold here or do we want to get some more fans i think we just tackle a stronghold at this point why not we can probably tackle two strongholds because we have a lot of reinforcements so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna put maybe 60 60 reinforcements right here and then i'm gonna put some reinforcements next to the brewers and this should be good enough i feel like 42 right there and then we get to move these 54 over to these and once we do that Oh, we got 99 in there, so we can't do that. We got to put the 54 with the 42 because I don't want to leave any fans over there. I want to move them all, so we're going to put them right here. So we got 95 there. Obviously, that's going to be on rookie difficulty. We're going to attack down here to the, towards the Braves, and they have 17 fans in there. It's going to be on veteran difficulty, which is fine, but actually, I'm going to simulate the one right next to it, and then I'm going to attack the Braves. It is on veteran difficulty, but like I said, we're fine with that. Let's go ahead. We'll play that game on veteran difficulty, and I'll see you guys after the game. All right, so we have beaten the Atlanta Braves. Got another 500 XP for that. We also get a Braves jersey right there, and now we can probably go conquer we obviously gonna play with the play the brewers as well but we're gonna go ahead and conquer some of these other territories around us once again protecting our stronghold is our utmost importance so we're gonna make sure we conquered the brave stronghold now we're gonna protect it as well so they cannot attack us making it as easy as it possibly can be as we move our way down to the marlins with the with these uh extra fans that we do have For some reason i forgot what they were called for a second but yeah 
extra fans that we have we're going to move down to the marlins and they're going to be our next target we're probably just going to squeak by like the other territories that the marlins own though and go all the way down south to the marlins i actually like the colors of the marlins right there i, I like that blue it's like my favorite color of blue and then we'll probably move these fans somewhere else as well next turn but we'll have to see we we'll only have eight fans left down to seven maybe there's a hidden uh, hidden fan right here or hidden pack right here maybe it is it's a balls of habit pack all the way down in south florida and then we're going to go ahead and attack these right here and we're going to take over the brewers next our next target going to be very very easy with 90 what 90 plus fans should be on rookie difficulty it is let's go ahead and attack these guys real quick beat the milwaukee brewers and i'll see you guys after all right we beat the milwaukee brewers and we're moving on got the milwaukee brewers jersey right there let's see how many teams we have left just to kind of gradually look at this we got one three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen more teams to go and i forgot about this little guy over here let's see if, okay we got him out of the way good to go so milwaukee brewers are done you can skip the steel fans skip to reinforce and now we have a lot of choices here because we're gonna have a lot of fans obviously um we can reinforce a lot of fans here not all of them but a majority of them right here or like probably like 60 60 right there that'll take care of a detroit and then we need to take care of the red so we can put it some right here as well and then we can also move fans so we can move 90 fans and take out the marlins down here and that's literally going to take out a majority of what we got what we got to do on this next turn so we can take out these guys these little guys right here until we get to the stronghold part take out him take out him we got 49 fans that should be good enough for the red to be for veteran difficulty and then right here we can take out these guys and then all we got to do is beat their stronghold and we're good there and that's all we got left so let's go ahead uh who do we want to face first we'll, we'll face the miami mar miami marlins first we're playing on rookie difficulty and i'll see you guys after the game all right we beat the miami marlins for the first time but i'm pretty sure we got to play them one more time we got the marlins though so that was their stronghold and then we have to beat them one more time but up next is going to be the detroit tigers so we're just not done yet we're not simming yet we got to beat the detroit tigers that is going to be on veteran difficulty let's hop into it and i'll see you guys after the game all right we beat the detroit tigers moving on to our next uh, opponent here and it's going to be well we got the detroit tigers jersey as well but it is going to be well once actually we have to get these guys right here we could actually get two teams done right here this is kind of nice all right we got the reds we will take them take them out let's go ahead and take these guys out veteran difficulty progressive feel we're taking on the guardians and i'll see you guys after the game all right so we have beaten the cleveland guardians get our reward our jersey for them we also got carlos rodon for completing the al central 500 stubs and we got our jersey as well so let's go ahead next up after them is going to be the cincinnati reds and then we will move on to the next team cincinnati reds here we come i will see you guys after the game all right we have beaten the cincinnati reds so we went on a good streak there got a lot done in just that one turn we got another jersey right there as well but now we're gonna have to reinforce right here because obviously there are some teams near us so we need to reinforce on this stronghold right here and we'll have plenty of fans to do so we could probably put like maybe like 70 80 in there uh 80 fans right there for sure and then you can move a bunch of fans so we have a lot of things that we can go on right here so i'm gonna probably move some fans up here here because then we could take out toronto and then move around some fans so we're gonna put 34 up there and i'm gonna move some of the fans over here and we're gonna move those up there and that way we have well actually we don't even need to move those we're gonna move these 54 we will move the 54 because we can move all of them so we might as well move those move the other ones another time get all the fans out of that area we can take these fans and spread them out a little bit so that's what we're gonna do we're gonna do a little simulation simulate simulate through a lot of these right here we're gonna get up to Pittsburgh. We're not going to attack Pittsburgh because we can go down and get some more territories. And the more territories, the better. Absolutely dominating. So we're going to take these territories right here and work our way up. See how many we can get before we run out of fans. So pretty much
much have most of the map completed besides the stronghold. That means this, most of simming's done. Just gotta play the games and we're chilling, which is exactly kind of how the MLB or the USA Conquest maps tend to be. At the very end, it's just playing the game. Simulation, most of, most of the simulation's done. Get most of the map taken care of. They can't do nothing. All you gotta do is play the games and there's just less of this going on. That's why I like to conquer the map. So they're not spreading it across the map like crazy. So oh, there's another one so that we can keep going. If we can keep going, we might as well keep going. Go all the way up to Boston if we can. All the way up top top right probably a probably a, a hidden pack up there too go get that hidden pack that's probably up there because it probably is up there so we're getting close to toronto i mean i'd rather go up than even worry about toronto because once we beat toronto we can just come down get a lot of those fans so i'd rather go up right now tackle a lot of these three fan territories that might be spreading out or trying to spread out more because they have three fans in their strong or three fans in that spot so get those out of the way first and we should be good we're gonna go around boston here see if there's any hidden pack up in the top right for us if we can get there without losing about this one right here this would be where i would think the hidden pack would is it's not maybe it's this one but i don't know if we're gonna win this one we lost it so that is what it is but we got pretty far pretty far right there if i were to say and now we're just gonna attack the toronto blue jays and hopefully finish this up obviously we have a lot more teams that we gotta do but let's go ahead take care of the toronto blue jays on rookie difficulty and i'll see you guys after the game all right we have completed and conquered the toronto blue jays right there we're gonna get sandy it's gonna be poor that's all we've been really rocking is sandy lately but we're definitely gonna take that toronto blue jays jerseys are ours and we are ready to move on to the next team but before we do we get to conquer all these territories that are down here and then we could conquer another blue jays stronghold coming your way i know it's blue jays but hey it is what it is obviously it belongs to another team so it'll be a diff some different jerseys that we get but we are going to conquer the toronto blue jays next we should have went the other way but that's okay conquer here 75 now we got the blue jays once again on rookie difficulty for the probably what 25th time or so i'll see you guys after the game and this time we're gonna rock that all right so we've beaten the toronto blue jays once again we got the new york yankees jerseys right there and we are ready to tackle our next few teams obviously we only have a few left we got the marlins the nationals the nationals the orioles the blue jays and the red Sox, and then we are done we i think are gonna start with the marlins 18 fans in there so i mean i think all we really need there with 18 fans it's probably around 50 probably around 50 to hit veterans so we're gonna start there and then we're also going go up to boston there's 20 fans up there so we're gonna go ahead probably put like 660 fans up there that'll tackle boston and then washington has 12 this washington has 12 fans so we can put the rest there and then move some fans around we can put a lot of fans right there so we might as well just put them all right there because you can't move more than once so there we go so we got 91 so washington we got the marlins down here so we, we actually go ahead and attack them real quick get that that out of the way and then we are going to all also, pack right here. See if there's a hidden pack. There is no hidden pack right there. Now we can attack Washington. Play him on rookie difficulty, and I'll see you guys. All right, we've beaten the Washington Nationals. On to our next game. We got the Orioles jersey, so that was the Orioles stronghold right there. So let's go ahead and move on to the next game, which that we set up, which would be either the Boston Red Sox or the Miami Marlins. I think we're going to take on the Miami Marlins again. We've already beat them once, so let's just go ahead and beat them one more time take them over once again and i'll see you guys after the game all right so we've beaten the miami marlins for the second time there so we are done with them and now we're going to move on to the boston red sox that was a raised stronghold so we get their jerseys uh first let's just get this last little piece of the puzzle right here as we are almost done and let's go ahead next up is going to be the boston red sox up here so let's go ahead play them on veteran difficulty and I will see you guys after the game. All right, so we have beat the Boston Red Sox. So that has conquered their territory. We also got Jim Rice for completing the AL awards as well as the AL East we get David Ortiz and we get the Boston Red Sox jersey right there. And we are done 
with all of that. So now we're ready to reinforce. There's a few territories that we can reinforce, obviously, and we're going to go ahead and do that. I do want to reinforce right here. Just a little fans right there, just because there's one territory that we can get. And we are down to one, two, three, four more teams to conquer. So let's go ahead, put some teams into here or put some fans into this one, maybe like 60. Do the job right there. And as well as some um, right here, we can probably put the rest right here to be honest with you yeah like 60 right there and then we can move some fans we got 90 that we can move somewhere and if we got 60 there we can take out i mean pittsburgh maybe we can just take out pittsburgh or it could be on our target as well and now we can attack so we can attack get that just random base taken over which can <laughs> Contains a legend bat skin in that one random spot. Who would have thought that would have had a bat skin in it? But go figure, it does. Then we're going to go ahead and simulate these. And now it's on the Baltimore Orioles on veteran difficulty. Four games away. I'll see you guys after the game. All right, we have beaten the Baltimore Orioles. Three more teams to go. 1500 XP right there. We got the Phillies. Now we have Pittsburgh up next. But before we do that, we're going to go ahead and uh, attack these empty uh, places right here. Just so uh just looks nicer that way. We're going to go ahead and attack the Pittsburgh Pirates. It's going to be on rookie difficulty. And we will see you guys after the game. All right. We beat the Pittsburgh Pirates. And we are two wins away uh, from completing. All right, now we are going to take on the Nationals two games away. Here we go. I will see you guys after the game. All right, we have completed the Washington Nationals. And we are moving on to our final game of this USA Conquest map and video in one go one sitting we have completed the usa conquest map and we are one game away from being completely done with it so let's go ahead and get straight into it you can see our goals we're literally just one territory away let's go ahead and take care of that territory right now which is going to be the toronto blue jays so we'll reinforce we can only put 99 fans right there anyways so we're just going to reinforce with the max it'll be 99 fans with versus the toronto blue jays and then we also have I'll just reinforce right here. It does not matter where we reinforce. This is the final game of the video. Let's go ahead and get into it. Toronto Blue Jays, rookie difficulty, stronghold. I'll see you guys after the game. We have done it. You, the US Conquest map has been completed. We got our 20 show packs. We're gonna, of course, gonna go open those up. We also got the 89 overall Stan Musial, 4,000 stubs, 2,500 XP on top of that. We got the Bill Mazeroski. We got the Lolendo Cepeda. And we also got the New York Mets jerseys. But obviously we're done with that, but we still have one more part of this video. Let's go take a look at our packs. Look at our inventory. 60 packs from Conquest, along with four balls of habit packs, one silver pack, one gold pack, classic stadium pack, back skin, legend icons, and Nike City Connect items as well. We're gonna go ahead and get into these packs right now. All right, we got our 60 packs from completing the Conquest map. Is it gonna be worth it? I mean, we got a bunch of free cards as well, so we might as well just open up the silver because we're probably gonna get a silver from it. And we'll open up the gold plus because we'll probably get a gold from it, right? And now let's go ahead and let's get into these standard packs. 60 standard packs. We are going to fly through these standard packs. It's probably as fast as possible to just get through the, this video because I am tired. This has been a long grind. We did this all in one stream, one go, one sitting. No, well, I mean, we took breaks here or there to go to the restroom or get a drink. But other than that, we've done this in one sitting. I said I wanted to do it. I committed to it. I wanted to give up. I did not give up. We committed to it because we said that we wanted to do it. So here we are getting a lot of gold equipment and stuff. We get, ooh, we get, okay. I mean, at least we get a diamond. Is that going to be our diamond though? That's our diamond. Hopefully when there's a lot of gold cards in here, I'm not even seeing if there's any gold cards, but if our diamond is a stadium, I'm going to be really sad. But at the same time, I wasn't really expecting a diamond. You know what would be really nice? We got a supercharge that goes for 500. Jake Cronenworth, probably gonna sell him. As we do get a diamond, please. Something that we don't have yet. It's a purple. Who's it gonna be though? Bryce Harper, 86 overall. We do not have him. That's already a W. We got a diamond we did not have. So hey, added to the collection. Live series collection has got 8,000 stubs cheaper. We'll take that for sure. Plus any golds or duplicates that we sell plus some some golds or silvers that we needed 
So we'll definitely take a Bryce Harper out of these packs to help us with collections. 33 packs, we've done about half of them. We got 32 left to go, almost halfway. One more and then we are halfway. All right, last 30 packs, here we go. I think I say we get to 20 and we open up some ballin' is a, is a habit packs after around 20. We got 27, 26, nothing, 25, nothing, 24, gold, nothing. Give us something, 17 packs. I guess we, well, maybe 15 packs. 15 packs left, let's open up a ballin' is a habit pack. We get an 81 overall that we did not have. Let's open up another one and we get a 82 we did not have and an 80 three we did not have so w on the gold pack so far definitely getting some gold that we did not have already so that's going to help out collections 2k 3k here or there will definitely help out and a lot of jerseys and stuff that are duplicates that we can sell we get a breakout 82 overall i don't even know why those are in these packs they're like kind of pointless maybe to fill collections but the fact that you pull some like legends and flashback 82 overalls and stuff in these packs kind of weird but i guess it's different something else to pull but i wish they went for some stubs which they do not a bunch of gold jerseys that we already had i wish we get some new ones and our last standard pack is not a diamond so we got one diamond we got nike city Co connects these are kind of nice we get the which ones do i want the san diego ones are always really really cool the dodger ones like i'm a dodgers fan but really the dodger ones don't look that great the san diego ones kind of look nice colorado eh Seattle, Miami. Uh, ooh, Angels kind of look nice too, to be honest with you. Uh, Cincy. Ooh, I'm gonna take Cincy. Cincy's look kind of nice. Cincy, yeah. Is there a Cincy bat? We'll do that. That's pretty cool. All right, two ball is a habit packs to go. 81 overall we already have. And an 81 overall that we already had. We get a legend icon, and that's about it. That is gonna be it. Legend bat skin. This one goes for 1300. We'll we'll, uh, we'll take that. And classic stadium. Uh, which one goes for the most? The USA Conquest map. From beginning to end, a tutorial walkthrough. I hope it helps you guys out completing the USA Conquest map. We did not play a game above veteran difficulty, so it should be very easy to follow, very easy to complete. If you guys did enjoy it. Hit that like button, subscribe if you're new, turn notifications on so you guys get notified when every video goes live. It's been a long video, so hopefully you guys did enjoy it and show it some love in the comments down section down below as well because it took a plentiful amount of hours to complete. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.